You know, if you rotate your crops annually, it will cease to deplete the necessary nitrogen in the soil, thus making your crops more efficient. Huh? Take this, see this? Put it over there, and let it relax. You dig? I can dig it. You should also write down your new techniques for future generations so that they will be able to use these farming techniques. I can't write or read. Forget it! Enclosure! Hello all. I'm here for my first broadcast after being unjustly kicked off my land by money-grubbing five pieces of filth wars. Sorry, I meant to say the gracious lords who took away the pressure of having to maintain farmland. Anyways, this just in. Hundreds of thousands of small farm owners have been kicked off their land by this new enclosure act. All these poor, mistreated, belittled underdogs. <coughs> these proletariats are now migrating into the cities in the search of work into these new and upcoming factories held in cottages in a process being coined as urbanization. We have made this piece of cloth. And all in all, it only needs to be spun, thread, dyed, sold, and then business is a booming. This is complete bull. This whole channel is so biased, it's unbelievable. <clears throat> this just in. Workers in an inefficient cottage industry are being relocated to factories where new machinery is being installed for increased output. With these new job openings in the factory, even more people are coming to the city, and the living conditions could never be better. Anyways, some of these new inventions, like the power loom by Edmund Cartwright, that makes thread weaving just that much easier and faster, and having incredible impacts on production rates. This just in, breaking news from somewhere unimportant, a man named James Wise expanding upon Thomas Newcomen's coal-powered steam engine in an attempt to make it more efficient piece of machinery. Behold. Yeah, I mind coal. Mining coal's what I do. I swing an axe in my hands and my big muscles. Well, see? No, see? thanks. Oh. Well, lucky for you and your co-workers, there are some, a lot of new inventions right now. Like dynamite. Dino what? Dynamite. It's something you use to help you dig underground. Nah, man, I got it. Look at these muscles, homie. I don't need this. I don't need that at all. Dynamite will help you produce 100% more coal, and factories need more and more coal each day. So you should utilize it. New steps in technology are leading to manufacturing breakthroughs that, although helpful, are leaving the common laborer in awe and confusion. Take the spinning jenny, for example. A spinning machine that enables multiple threads to be spun at the same time has halted people from working due to pure confusion. Uh, you know, sir, I'm not sure you're supposed to eat the dynamite. No, no, don't worry about it, don't worry. Despite these misconceptions, productions of coal, textiles, and cotton have boomed by over 200%. In addition, the creation of iron and these new mysterious steam locomotives have also made transporting goods as well as self-transportation incredibly easier. Gone are the days of paying entrepreneurs to use their turnpikes and canals for transportation. The world is shrinking.
Here at Growing Foundations, we provide the highest quality factory life possible. Adhering to common morals, we refuse to hire any children under four years old and even have two five minute breaks within their 18 hour work days. Just look at this smiling child here, separating seeds from raw cotton on his handy new cotton gin we received last week. Excuse me, I'm sorry. Smile! Sorry about that. If you follow me, please. Uh, here we are. The steam engine powers the entire place. Now that we no longer rely on water, we can efficiently power the factory without being near a river or a lake. This is where we load the goods onto the train for quick and easy transportation. Since we have since we now have these quick locomotives, we can ship to almost anywhere in the country at any time. Business is booming, I tell you. Pardon me! Get back to work! What do you think you're doing? Sorry about that. Son, do you think that was right? You think you should be tortured after working long hours in the factory? No! no. You want better wages? Yes! Then follow me. Man, blood. And together we'll take them by storm. I approve this message. This just in. Breaking news from the River Thames. Hundreds of factory workers are protesting their working conditions by destroying machinery. Behold. <laughs> 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 